Hey folks, welcome back to TELUS Business Connect in the How To Series. Hey, I've got um, a, a lot of questions that come in about um, uh, putting in speed dials into the system, uh, corporately accessible speed dials uh, that would be included in the uh, corporate directory, that type of thing. And um, what I'd like to do is show you uh, a, a method of doing that, um, utilizing the uh, call groups. It's uh, kind of a workaround, but it works uh, works pretty slick. And um, essentially, there's a, a few steps that I have to do, and you do it pretty quickly. Now let's go into groups, and from groups here, what we're going to do is just add a uh, another call group. Um, I've got a bunch of call groups in here, so we've got a maximum of 100 call groups, or 99 call groups, or call queues that were allowed in the system. Any unused call queue uh, can be used as a system speed dial. It can be accessible from everyone uh, in the system. So what we do is add a call queue, give that call queue a, a number, and uh, my suggestion, of course, is just to, to pick a code, a four-digit code, for example. Um, and I use 88 and uh, 01, for example, for the first entry, 02 for the second entry, and so on and so on, all the way up, uh, you know, to your maximum number. Uh, put the company name of uh, of the of the destination or the name. I'm just going to use the NRC clock in Ottawa, and I'll just put in time clock. Save that. You do have to put one user in the group. The, the calls will never go to that user, so it doesn't really matter who it is. I'll just select myself. And uh, that creates the group. So now it's there. Now what we have to do is go into that group, that time clock, and take a look at some of the settings that are in here. Um, you can modify that, um, that, that code, that extension number quite easily, or the name uh, that will show up in the corporate directory um, quite easily as well. So let's go directly to call handling. And I'll show you how to do that routing. Uh, now, what we do is trick the system to think that this uh, queue is not available uh, at any time during the day. And, and you basically do that through the after hours routing because that's where your external call forwarding is. Um, because this is a brand new queue, uh, it, the assumption is right off the bat is 24 hours a day. So we're going to change that uh, to give it essentially a closed uh, period. And we'll specify the hours. Um, so what we'll do is just close all the days of the week save that so now you see it's all closed now technically you can't have uh, a closed condition um, seven days a week you know 24 hours a day so we're going to take Sunday and just have an open period of just 15 minutes that's the absolute uh, minimum so we'll take some time real early Sunday morning say 3 a.m. to 3 15 a.m. like I say that's the absolute minimum time um, and that's the only time this queue is going to be open for that 15 minute window between 3 a.m. and 3 15 a.m. 99.9 99% of the time that would suffice uh, in this case so we'll just save that now we have um, uh, essentially a permanently closed um, uh, call queue that now we can have an unconditional call forward tied to and you basically just put the phone number in 613-745-1576 is the atomic clock in Ottawa and we'll save that and that's it that's all you have to do. Now, the cool thing uh, is that when you open up uh, Business Connect, the dialer, um, you can actually use the code right from here just by dialing. If you, you print out all of your uh, your speed dial codes, and for example, I've got 8801 here, um, you can just print them out, hand them out, and anybody can dial them from any phone, even from cell phones uh, on the uh, on the app on the app that runs on the mobile. Um, I'm just going to use my my dial pad here on the uh, Business Connect. Uh, desktop app dial 8801 and when you hit send of course that call is going directly to the time clock and uh, out goes the call and this is what we get for audio we get ring back MRC Eastern Daylight Time and there's the time clock okay so that's how it's done of it is that uh, because that is part of uh, of the company directory, I actually have uh, the time clock as uh, as one of the entries inside uh, inside the corporate directory. So we can look at the company directory and just pull up time, for example, and there's the time clock. Okay, so if this was a company name, uh, ABC time clock or XYZ uh, machine milling or you know XYZ plumbing or whatever the company name is, uh, will show up in here as well. So now you have uh, the ability to actually dial this, and you can just dial dial by pressing the button, and out the call goes. Okay, it's that simple. All right. Thanks for watching, and please hit the like button at the bottom of the video. Please subscribe if you want to see some more.